Top infectious disease experts in the U.S. are urging Congress to fund their fight against the Zika virus. The heads of both the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases say the effects of Zika appear to be worse than anyone thought. Those include severe birth defects and Guillain-Barre syndrome, which causes paralysis. President Obama has asked Congress for nearly $2 billion that would fund research, prevention, and also work on a vaccine. A new study reveals light therapy improves depression among cancer survivors. 54 patients were exposed to a half hour a day of either bright white or dim red light. Three months later, the bright light group had fewer depressive symptoms, but there was no chance, no change among the group exposed to dim light. One in four people with cancer have clinical depression, which can interfere with quality of life and increase the risk of early death. Daylight saving time can be an adjustment for all of us, but for those with diabetes, there is an added step. For individuals with diabetes who are dependent on insulin, time must not only be adjusted on all of their clocks this weekend, but on their insulin pumps as well. Experts say forgetting to do this could lead to hypoglycemia, causing some patients to faint, have seizures, or even go into a coma. Insulin is delivered according to the time of day, so doctors say patients have to be mindful about setting the clocks on their pumps. Still to come tonight, we'll take one more look at your evening weather planner.